All right, y'all. Welcome back to episode six. Now, this is the part where I was building all the fencing and the wolf enclosures and everything. Now, I'm out here in Oregon, and there is a lot done. I've gotten a long ways, long ways to go, but catching you guys up on everything that we are doing. So make sure that you subscribe and then turn on notifications so you can see the next episode and the one after that until we're all caught up. We're going to start doing a little bit more faster pace and get you guys caught up. So, oh, let's get right to it. Come on. Well, last night, yesterday-ish, while loading up the T-posts, <clears throat> I ended up going to jump off of the truck and my neck popped. Not <coughs> 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 mean. My neck popped in the front right here. So some kind of injury, I thought, called my doctor. He said to go in to urgent care to get cleared before I leave. So went into the ER, as you can tell. Apparently my lymph nodes are so swollen that it's causing my neck to have issues as it's like a, an infection of your lymph nodes when they swell up and inflammation and everything. So we're gonna get some meds, get right back to it. Nothing we can do about it. Just gotta work through it. <sighs> the truth finally here tired as ever but we're gonna see if they cut the road in like they said good enough to get this beast trailer and Steve is up there ahead of me with the tractor and the septic on the the trailer so we're about to see wish us luck Yep. It is raining today. The forecast kind of changed and now there is rain in the morning. Uh, not tomorrow, luckily, so she would have a clear day tomorrow, but one of the cream of the crops, the cherry on top. One of my guys is driving the tractor up, so I take off a little detour around the road and got it stuck down to the chassis, like, stuck so I gotta get this thing out yeah, she's in there like in there seriously we have like a snow hail rain mix luckily we got the truck out since I cut that road see I cut the road we we're actually able to get a truck out it was worth the money Work time, baby. hybrid enclosures so you drag this and you put dig guard in to make them all by legal spec dig guard all the way around your 10 foot poles with 45 degree angles for the fencing and then they get a look out at this so I'm also leaving some of the natural habitat stuff in here so you can have some trees they can have some stuff to run around like just be able to live like they should you know they're caught in between pets and they're caught in between being illegal in most places it's just it's a whole lot and it's unfair so we're gonna give them a good life and next it's time to drill out the auger so we get the pin break on this so now i need to get this 
paste right there. Because that is what holds the auger in to make it turn. Let's get to it. Time to drill it out. Welding there. 